Now, Norman, you're an inventive guy. Uh, which of the current batch of inventions has tickled your fancy? What do you like? Uh, well, uh, Henry uh, Ford uh, just invented the assembly line there, right. you know? Yeah, and you. that was good because he wanted, you know, not just rich people, but anyone to drive over and see his cock. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any other one that's got your fingers? There's Alexander Graham Bell. Yeah. You know, he uh, he invented the telephone. Right, right. So he could call people up, tell them to come on over and see his cock, you know, because he was trying to yell it out the window. <laughs> so, so, hey, theme the bell. check out my cock. <laughs> Norm, I hear you just got back from New York City. What's happening in Gotham? Oh, my God. Well, the big thing is the new Empire State Building. Have you seen this? I've heard. I have not seen yet. Oh, it's crazy. What I'm interested in is the original architect's blueprint, you know? Yes. It called for the building to be painted flesh-toned, Dennis, with a large rounded head so the architect could lie on the street and pretend he had a thousand-foot cock. <laughs> Frank Lloyd Wright, more like Frank Lloyd Cock. So, Norm, tell me, what's your take on this whole Cold War thing? Well, my brother works down at the U.N., right? right. And you remember last week when Khrushchev was banging his uh, shoe sure. on the table? crazy bastard. Yeah. So, my brother was sitting beside him, mm -hmm. and Khrushchev, like, he accidentally slips, and my brother gets hit right in the cock. With the shoe? Yeah, by Khrushchev's shoe. <laughs> <laughs> so, my brother turns to him, he says, Hey, you hit me in the cock again, you dirty commie, I'll bury you. <laughs> What's been happening, man? Oh, man, I dropped acid the other week. That, yeah. that is bizarre stuff. Really? Yeah, my cock started singing to me. <laughs> Not like Joe Cocker. It stood for something other than just being Mexico's bitch. I say if President Clinton 296 doesn't snap us out of this downward spiral we're in, we dump his gay ass. Next selection process, we clone Jesse Ventura again, bring him back. Hey, Norm. Hey, you know what I think they should put on the dark side of the moon? What? Vast fields of bioengineered, hydroponically grown cock. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know, like a backup supply just in case. Our earthbound supply of cock might run out one day. No cock tucked away for a cocky day. <laughs> exactly. Look at my head, man. It looks like a cock. It does. Cock. Cock. <laughs> cock. That's just my opinion. I could be wrong. <laughs>